Well, this is, a, this is a good one. How did Clark's conquest of the Illinois country factor into the peace negotiations that ended up giving to the Americans, to the new United States, the Trans-Appalachian West? And historians differ. Generally, it's a matter of how much credit you give. But it certainly was crucial in that absent Clark's actions in the West it would have been, there would have been very little reason for the British to cede any of this territory. And the Great Lakes region um, would have probably largely remained British, at least for the time being. And the lower part of the Mississippi Valley would have remained Spanish, um, at least for um, um, the immediate future. But once Clark sort of planted the flag, first for Virginia, but ultimately for the United States in the Illinois country, that allowed Benjamin Franklin to really make the most out of this situation. Franklin was the chief negotiator, and his counterpart was a man named Lord Shelburne. And Shelburne's general position was, we need to get this war over recognize the independence of the Americans, and get back to doing business. From a British perspective, the war was a disaster in terms of lost trade. And once it became apparent that the British were not going to be able to focus full attention on subduing the rebellion, they now had a world war on their hands. Shelburne wanted to end it, and he wanted to end it in a way that left the Americans in a friendly disposed manner towards the British. He wanted to bring them back into the fold economically. And he also wanted to create sort of a buffer um, for the aspirations of the French and the Spanish. He knew there wasn't going to be a lot of British settlers filtering down um, from what's now Canada, but there was going to be any number of Americans heading from the east to the west. So Franklin was able to use that and say, look, Americans are going to fill this area anyway. We've already had an army out there that has staked a claim, planted the flag. And those two old friends, Shelburne and Franklin, sort of decided this would be the place to draw those lines on the map. We also need to take into account the idea that Diplomacy at that point in time was considered not the final word. This treaty was ending the war for American independence, but nobody felt like this is the final say-so as to who was going to end up with what. Seven Years' War had only ended 20 years earlier, and now the lines were being redrawn, and everyone fully expected they would be redrawn again. So in a sense... This was a provisional settlement, and Clark's actions certainly gave an impetus to Shelburne and Franklin saying, let's make this American territory for now at least.